Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. We continue our adventure with Nancy 2. Done a little bit of leveling up, we have our Reptar, who is has the worst ability, I forgot about that. I learned Thrash, can't remember if we had that before. And we've leveled up Sanders a bit. Sanders learned Wish, that's pretty handy. Not that I'll ever get a chance to use it, and yeah, i still got pure power. Okay. So, um, we're going to try and increase the length of these episodes a little bit, so we're going gonna to take you guys on the adventure. We're going to go running around for a little bit. Oh, that's not... okay. Um, okay, a cleanse tag. That's fine, I guess. Cleanse tag sort of stops uh, more wild Pokemon appearing. So, this is my first recording session back for a while. I've uh, taken a break. I've done some edits on some previous episodes, um, which I've uploaded uh, recently. But you guys won't get to see them until they're proper. Well, you would have seen them already by now. Um, but I've been doing some editing in the meantime, so I've not had much chance to record. Plus, I'm a busy human. Okay, so I'm going to go and see what's in this bit of grass right now. Let's go. And I still need to catch something here. I also did a little bit of uh, did my grinding. Oh my sweet monkey Jesus. Apologies for the blasphemy. So... Two pseudo legendaries. Egg bomb is fine. Full swipe. Leaving it with one HP. I don't think. Oh. That's strange. Okay, I'm gonna heal that poison first. So, um, I'm trying to remember all the things I did. Uh, I got a couple. I got a few potions. I got some antidotes. I got some Pokeballs as well. More than, you know, just a few Pokeballs. I got ten. And no sludge as well. Cool. Right. That's fine. We're just gonna try and catch it then. Oh, I wonder what his catch rate is like, even though it's level four. Right. Um, so I did a bit of leveling up off screen, as you can see. They're both level ten. This thing's not gonna catch easy, is it? And it knows ancient power. Alright. Hmm. At least it's just like normal poisoning and not toxic level poisoning. That would be pretty horrible right now. Okay, no. It's not like there's anything more I can do to this thing. It's literally at 1 HP and there's... I have nothing I can really do any status effects with. Hmm, I can... And I will heal the poison on this thing. Uh, once again, it's going to keep trying to poison me, which is horrible. Right, okay, and what else I can do is I can change over to Sanders and I can pass a wish across. Um, of course it's going to poison that too. It's fine, it's literally just in to pass a wish across. And hopefully we live. Oh god, I forgot it's got ancient power, so it might actually kill Sanders. Yeah, that's probably not going to go well. So long as I don't use Sanders ever again in this fight. So how is everyone doing anyway? I've been, as I say, a bit busy with uh, work and, you know, stuff like that. Adult stuff. And... Yeah, besides that, I've just been playing playing a shit ton of Pokemon Moon. Um, really trying to... Oh, I recently just finished it, actually, m you know, months after it came... Yes, finally. Months after it came out, finally got around to finishing it. Um, so I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, because I've already seen the Dratini, I forgot about that. Yes, we're going to nickname it. You have to. So, I have a nickname that... Oh, no, not PN. I have a nickname that I always give to my Dragonites, and it's Poss. And it goes back to the days when I was playing a randomised Nuzlocke before, and I accidentally nicknamed it Poss instead of Posty, and now they're all called Poss. Oh, I was holding something. Cool. Okay, so we're going to go and heal for a little bit. Um, but yeah, just playing, playing lots of Pokemon Moon. I'm trying to trying to work on filling the living decks so that I have like one of everything, which is proving 
have been quite difficult, especially when you get to like the likes of the legendaries. I mean, the Ultra Beasts aren't too bad, but it's it's more so like type null because you get one in the game, but get an, you need to get another one if you want to have the living text. And then, um, you know, I'm just trying to make sure I've got one of everything. Let's let's have a look at Poss. Let's see what what Poss's deal is. So it's naive, so that's fine. It's holding a spell tag, which increases ghost type attacks. That's, that's cool. Poison Point's a really good ability. And it knows Egg Bomb, Double Kick, Sludge, and Ancient Power. That is awesome. No, it's like really awesome. Okay, so we're going to take the spell tag from you. We're going to put you to the front of the... We're going to put you to the front of the party. Just there. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go and do a bit of leveling up down here in the grass where there was chances, I remember there being chances. And we're gonna You know, I'll get back to you in a little bit. I don't wanna don't wanna bore you don't wanna bore you with my off screen grinding, so I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay. Bye guys. And I'm back. So I've done a little bit of grinding off screen, so now we've got boss up to level twelve. I tried to learn in prison, but I was I wasn't having it. I uh, still knows the same moves. So, um, I I've done a little bit of excessive grinding because well, last time we uh, tragically lost Captain Newt and CJ to this fraud. Um, so we're not gonna have that happen again. So we're gonna take him down all the way down. Cool trainer, female. Uh. Okay, Militech. That's that's all right. I can I can deal with that. So, let's try sludge. Let's try and poison it. Okay, we're not losing this time. Fr mm. It's okay. Oh well, of course I'm paralyzed. Um, yeah, you don't get it twice in a row. Um, so. Speaking of Pokemon Sun and Moon, yeah, get poisoned. Get poisoned. I hate you, Frud. So, speaking of... I'll just use Double Kicks. No, it's dead. Speaking of Pokemon Sun and Moon, what's everyone's favourite Pokemon from the Alola region? Not including, obviously, ones that have come out before. What's everyone's favourite new Pokemon from that generation? Mine has to be the dear darling cutie fly. Which it oh well this is yeah this is fine I could deal with this unless it uses you know like fissure and kill it... you're really gonna taunt me Caterpie you're really gonna t oh oh it's on oh it's on right enough enough with the taunts so my favorite Pokemon has to be the dear darling cutie fly this adorable little thing. Who's just the cutest? Seriously, Cutie Fly is just the most perfect name for it. Yeah, get Frud. Um, it has to be the most adorable thing I've ever seen. It has snuck its way, not even snuck its way. I cleared a place for it, and it is quite possible. Oh, well, we landed lucky then. It's quite possibly my second favourite Pokemon behind Magmar now. Get an egg. Whoa. <laughs> well, I was worried for nothing. Um, it, mm, that's, I was about to say, that's more worrying. It's not really. Yeah. You like ancient power? Have one back. Uh, Cutie Fly is just the most adorable thing. It's, uh, so I obviously spent ages when I got one trying to hatch for a shiny. Because it's shiny as pink and pink. You haven't guessed. It's my favourite colour. Sorry, I accidentally skipped there. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to fast forward there. That's that was a bad. Uh, apologies for that. Um. So yeah, I had spent ages trying to hatch for a shiny one because the shiny's pink. It's my favourite colour, and it took forever and ever and ever. And I went back when I had a a ditto and a foreign. A foreign um, duty fly, and I went back, tried to hatch one for ages, and 
eventually I got one. I got my Shiny Cutie Fly, and he, she's adorable. Her name is Kazoo. I'll try and find a picture of her and pop it in just now. But she's just the most darling. She's the strongest Pokemon on my team. I say strongest. Highest level. Ah, I also randomized this, so that's a Meowth this time. Yeah, she's the highest level Pokemon on my team. Maybe not the strongest, maybe not got the best attack, but you know what? I love her. She's just pretty adorable. And... But I have loved some of the Pokemon. I think there's only one Pokemon in my team that's not Alola. I don't want to say Alola native. I have a Magmar in my team because you can find Magmars, and I was like, well, I gotta have a Magmar in my team. But I have Magmar, Primarina, Cutie Fly, Alolan Raichu, Beware, and Alolan Sandshrew. Because Alolan Sandshrew is adorable. It was originally going to be an Alolan. Uh, sand, sand slash, but it's I just couldn't I couldn't bring myself to do it. So I've named it Iggy, and we have a new bit of grass. Do I have money? I find myself asking that every day. I have two hundred dollars, not much, because I spent it all on Pokeballs. So I'm gonna catch something now. Let's find out what it is. Oh, it's a Needle King. I am killing it with the Pokemon I'm getting here. I have so much faith in this run through. <laughs> oh, no. That doesn't lend itself well. Three turns to catch this thing. Oh, no. Okay. The most important thing is that next turn I switch Reptar out because I can't lose Reptar. Come on. Come on, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. And I'm asleep. Okay, Parish Count is one, so at the end of this turn. It doesn't matter how I do it, because the only hope is that I catch it. And I can't... If I run that risk, then if it doesn't work, I lose Reptar. And I'd, I'd rather... Nido King's awesome and everything. But I'd rather not lose it for the sake of this Nido King, which could turn out it. I've got it. Yeah, there it goes. Oh well. It's fine. Um. I'll just keep right on my team. Just I'll just keep it in front just now. Well, let's find out what else was in this grass. Totodile. That's pretty cute. Um. Right. Thunderbolt. Forgot Reptar wasn't at the front of my party. Yeah. So, if you haven't gathered uh, so far, I'm not a particularly risky Pokemon player. Except when I'm playing in Pokemon Sun and Moon, then I seem to leave things out for the chance of fainting. Um, I'm... no. See, when it comes to a randomized Nuzlocke, I'm not willing to put a Pokemon I already have on the line. Especially at this level of randomization, I'm not going to put something on the line where it could turn out badly. So. We'll just catch another Pokemon, you know? What else I'll do is I'm going to go get another couple antidotes, just in case. And then we'll find out what awaits us in Viridian Forest. <sighs> I am roasting at the moment. I'm... Uh, so I live right next to quite a main road. And... It's quite obviously quite loud, um, and if I was to do this recording in my living room, it's very echoey, as you found out in episode one. So it's just uh, I can't risk waiting, and uh, I can't, you know, I can't do it in the living room. And if I don't have the blanket, I'll well, just give that away. I have a blanket over me just now, hence the reason I'm roasting you. Yeah, fuck the grass. Um, I have a blanket over me just now, hence the reason I'm absolutely boiling. 
um, as a for as a means of soundproofing. Um, so yeah, that's all good fun. Okay, on the road to Viridian Forest. That was a song, right? Okay, let's find out what awaits us here. Oh boy, a geodude. I don't know why I'm leading with anything but Tyranitar. Like, it's got false swipe. Okay, barrage. That's fine. False swipe. Hojo. And of course, it's not very effective. Hmm. Well, that's not going to go very well for you. I'm not actually very fussed about this Geodude. The evolution is also set to randomize as well. So, you know, when Pokemon are. I can catch it from there. Uh, when this Geodude would evolve into Graveler, it could evolve into literally anything. I think I took away the option that it could evolve back into itself. There was, a, you know, not exactly a strong chance for that, but, you know, something anyway. I don't think I'm gonna bother about going back to heal this. I don't mean. I'm not too fussed for you, dude. I don't know what else it knows. I don't know what its ability is. Maybe it's holding something cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I have a nickname. Um. Bruh. Because it's got the arms and stuff. Okay. Is it holding anything? It's holding something. What's it holding? It's holding a red shard. Vault Absorb. Wow. Some pretty good moves. It used Steel Wing and it wasn't using that against me? It's an idiot. So, all the Pokemon in this, I mean, it was the same before, Vault Absorb is a useless ability for this because electricity will have no effect on it. It's holding a red shard. Better than a red shard. Right. Let's put Reptar back to the front. And go onwards. I don't particularly want to go back in the grass. For fear of getting attacked by something ridiculous. Oh. So it was a Geodude or Pucciana. Well, I landed lucky. Oh, it knows Delightful. Yes, 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 I flinched. I know. I know how this game works. Haha. Who's the crit person now? Well, that'd be critical, I guess. And what item is this? Woodmail. Alright. And tentacle. Nice. Yeah, that's not bad. It could have, could have had tentacle. Well, nothing's exactly posing a threat. I think I overleveled myself, but better that than underleveling myself and getting destroyed by the rifle again. So wait, I'm trying to remember what all you can get in Viridian Forest. You can get Pidgey, Caterpie, Metapod, Pikachu. And can, no, I think that's it. You can't get. Why? Where were you? Where were you a few seconds ago? You whore! <sighs> it's so annoying that I can't catch that. Bloody Nuzlocke rules. Cacturn is one of my favourite, one of my favourite Pokemon. He's, he's on and off the favourite list. Not like on and off. He finds himself moving about the spots on the favourites list. I have a, I kind of like Scarecrows right there. They just look really, all right, now you're just taunting me. I really like Scarecrows. Scarecrows are badass. They're just, their design looks awesome. They look so menacing. So much so that I got a tattoo of one on my calf. And I love it, it's my favourite tattoo to date. I have eight tattoos. Um, and that's still my favourite one. It's 
brilliant and the artist who did it was amazing. One of the nicest, nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. And now there's Cacturns just taunting me like, hey, you could have caught me. Y you know what, Cacturn? Maybe I didn't want you, alright? Maybe I didn't. Maybe maybe, I'll, maybe I'm happy with my Geodude that knows guillotine. Yeah, that's right. My Geodude can one-hit KO things. Can you, Cacturn? Huh? That's right. You can't. Because you're dead. Oh. Oh, of course it had poison point. Right. Note to self. Do not use physical moves on catch. I'm so poisoned! Um, note to self. Do not use contact moves on characters anymore. Right. So, we're about to face that trainer. But I'm going to do it next time on Something Vaguely Nerdy. So, join us then, folks. See you later!